Hey, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, well, I welcome you. I'm Chris, and I hope you consider subscribing. Today, we're gonna make a little bit of a haunted house for my daughter, just so she kind of gets the Halloween experience and stuff like that. It's nothing too scary, but it's something for her to at least go through and have some fun with. And we're gonna do this in the garage. Let's do this real quick. Did you like that little haunted house video? That turned out pretty cool. It was fun making it, a little frustrating because my daughter didn't want to go through it at first, but I, it's understandable. She warmed up to it about the end and then she was pretty much done. You gotta work fast with kids, that's the thing. You have to be patient and work fast. And unfortunately, I, I lose my patience just a little bit because by the time I start losing my patience, it's when my back really starts hurting and it's, Either way, it turned out pretty cool. I'm happy, I'm satisfied with it. Now, I realize most people are not gonna be able to build this haunted house for a couple of reasons. One, I have these huge sheets of styrofoam. I think they were used for insulation or something like that. I was able to acquire some for free. That's a good thing. Carve them out, spray paint them, make them look like brick. Uh, this was a Halloween project I did years ago, but we can utilize it today you know, to make this little haunted house. But the fog chiller, we need to not necessarily make, but I'll go over how you make a fog chiller. I used an old cooler that was really just, it, the lid was broken, but I would recommend drilling the holes through the cooler on the top. That's a lot easier. And I'm just using ice packs in here to really chill the fog down. Now, why do we want to chill the fog down? Well, when the fog comes out of the fog machine, it's pretty hot. It's pretty warm and it just wants to rise up. That's not the effect we're looking for. We want the fog to hug the ground. So the easiest way to get the fog to hug the ground is to send it through some piping, really chill it down before it comes out the end. And when it's chilled, it hugs the ground a little bit before it warms up and then you know floats up into the air. And the other benefit too, if it's cold out, it'll hug the ground even longer and give you that nice you know fog rolling around effect. It's really, really cool. It's really fun. It'll make your Halloween night just a little bit better. All right, after playing with that fog machine for a little bit, uh, maybe we'll make a little haunted house for Robin kind of scare her a little bit. I know it's kind of cruel and evil, but it's fun. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you found this entertaining, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It really helps me out. It really motivates me to make more videos like this and more content and bring pretty much daily content to you every day. That's kind of redundant, and is it? But either way, go ahead, click that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, and for you real quick troopers out there, uh, I'm glad you stayed to the end. I really had fun making this thing, just putting it together, kind of decorating a little bit, and then really shooting it, seeing how I can shoot it, and not even worrying about lighting, because if I get too much of that digital noise, film grain, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't really matter. It makes the, makes the video look a little more gritty, a little more dark, a little more scary, but it was fun doing it. <sighs> I'll see you on the next one.